SCP-7972. Why is for youth. I really don't have an intro for this one, but it felt wrong to just go straight into the article, so pretend that I said something rather insightful and meaningful here. With that said, let's check out SCP-7972. SCP-7972 designates a two-story, four-bedroom modular home constructed by the Bensonwood Company in 1974. Its interior contains appliances and furniture appropriate in type and number of a single-family home in the early 1980s, and the furnishings exhibit minor wear consistent with roughly a decade of occupation. While the Bensonwood Company has records of 1,321 sales of modular homes to this location in Florida, no records of a purchase at 7972's original address have been found. The plot of land originally occupied by the home remains unsold, which is noted as being not unusual as similar discrepancies were found for 16 other Bensonwood homes in the area. Appliances found in the home exhibit multiple irregularities from their manufactured forms, starting with the ceiling mounted light fixtures, which contain a general electric branded incandescent light bulb, noted as being affected by a product recall in 1982. The filament has been replaced with a thick strand of copper wire threaded through, with three or four human phalangeal bones. Application of electric current initiates combustion of the makeshift filament via an unknown mechanism. When lit, the bones are observed to bend and twitch against the bulb glass due to thermal expansion of the wire. Each of the toasters in the home, which is noted as being a number in the double digits, is a Black & Decker branded extra-wide four-slice electric model that was also affected by a product recall in 1983. Eight strands of copper wire have been crudely welded to the heating grills of each toaster, along which two or three human phalangeal bones have been threaded. When heated, the bones produce an audible scraping against the aluminum backplate due to thermal expansion of the wire. Each of the hair dryers in the home, also in the double digits, is a major international branded electric hair dryer, also affected by a recall, and unscrewing the casing of each reveals that each individual blade of the fan mechanism has been replaced with two or three human phalangeal bones strung along a strand of copper wire. Standard operation causes the bones to curl around the heating element of the unit repeatedly due to thermal expansion of the wires. Each of the above appliances is connected to one of 24 live electrical outlets in the home via American Electronics Power Strips, also recalled. Examination of the plugs of each power strip reveals that each of the conductive prongs have been replaced with something redacted and extend into the drywall. Continuous operation leads to something else redacted, resulting in an odor, likely due to thermal expansion of the plastic. 59.64% of identified DNA fragments recovered from the home originate from individuals who had received a reconstructive orthopedic care at the Miami Valley Teaching Hospital between 1982 and 1986. None could recall the circumstances of their injuries, but video analysis of phalangeal movements within the home suggest behavioral patterns not incompatible with something redacted of human subjects of a certain age. It's hard to say exactly what's going on with this house and these appliances, but there are vague hints. Of the appliances, we have light fixtures, toasters, hair dryers, and power strips, three of them which contain phalangeal bones, which are finger and toe bones. Most of the fragments recovered originate from those that received orthopedic care at a teaching hospital, suggesting either that some sort of mad science experiment occurred, and possibly this borders on the non-anomalous, or it's something related to kids sticking fingers where they shouldn't be stuck with an anomaly removing their phalangeal bones in some way, which is implied by the title. We're left with very little information here and only guesses, but I would say that the real horrific part of this SCP is that there are that many toasters in one home. 